my lovelies? Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another You Made What? Today I'll be making ilotes. So for those who are unfamiliar with ilotes, ilotes is a Mexican preparation of corn that's super simple and wildly popular as a street kind of snack. So here in Rhode Island, it is the peak of summer and that means fresh corn. So I've been waiting to make this recipe until we had our corn in and it's finally in. All right, so let's go in the kitchen. I'll show you how to make this. Oh, and if you like these kinds of fun recipes, be sure to subscribe. All right, let's go make this. So get yourself some fresh corn and remove the husk. Then place the ears in some rapidly boiling water and cook for 10 to 15 minutes or longer depending on how you like your corn. So here's my beautiful ear of corn. I've boiled it, it's still warm. We're gonna need some palitos and palitos are basically just big skewers. So we're just going to impale our corn cob with a stick. So this will be the handle for our ilota. Great, the first ingredient we're going to add is mayonnaise or mayonnaise. We're going to generously slather our ear of corn with mayonnaise, yum. Now we're gonna add cheese. Cotilla cheese is traditional, but I couldn't find any, so I'm substituting grated Parmesan, which I've heard has a similar flavor. And we're gonna be very generous with it. I'm just gonna cover the whole cob. Now you know why the mayonnaise was so important, because not only for flavor, but it's going to make our cheese stick. So next we're gonna add a little bit of chile. I'm just using tahine, which is a store-bought mix of chili and I think it has some lime in there. And that makes it really colorful. Yes. All right, here are our beautiful ilotas. I can't wait to give them a taste. So I'm gonna give them a squeeze of lime before I bite into it. Oh, that's gonna be great. Buen provecho! Mmm, 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 that is so good. What a great combination of sweet, fresh corn that pop in your mouth. And you get the salty cheese, the creamy mayonnaise that doesn't taste mayonnaise-y at all. And then you've got the really great sharp lime in there that cuts through all that richness. And you got a little bit of chili in there. It is awesome. This I think is my new favorite way to eat corn. It is so good. Mm. And I highly recommend putting a good squeeze of lime on that. The combination of the sweet corn and the lime together Incredible. So this particular style of ilotes is called ilotes preparados, which is a Mexican style. I believe there's other versions as well. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever had ilotes or if there's any particular things that you like to have on your corn. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to like, leave me a comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. So I'm gonna add a generous amount of that. Valentina. And then we're gonna add some chamoy. Chamoy is a fruity kind of sour, sweet, 